It's always exciting to motivate the students and to actually show them how chemistry relates to their daily life. The width of a human hair is about 100,000 nanometers. So actually these materials we're working with are really tiny. We're looking at using these nanomaterials for sensing applications. So for example, you know, we have pregnancy test kits that will give you a very rapid response whether or not a woman is pregnant. Uh, we're using these materials to develop similar type of uh, test kits uh, for different analytes. So for example, if you're looking for toxins in wastewater, these nanomaterials could potentially be useful uh, to provide these uh, rapid analysis. So York University is a, a very collaborative environment and I think it's also really beneficial to be in Ontario where there are lots of universities around. So it also gives opportunities to collaborate with other researchers in the area.